today we're going to wire up these panels we're going to install our junction box up there at the front and we're going to get all these wired up so stick with me when we come back we'll get busy travel I'm Aaron and like I said in the intro today we're gonna wire up our panels we're gonna install our junction box and you can see here we have six 200 watt panels on each side of the rig so for a total of 12 200 watt panels 2400 watts now we're gonna be wiring these in series so we're gonna wire six of them in series to keep our amperage low that's gonna give us about nine point nine point five amps ish uh, coming out of these six panels at about 172 volts uh, we're going to run the second series together as well giving us the same numbers and then in the end we're going to parallel them together it's going to give us a total of 172 volts and about eight about 19 and a half um, amps now this coach is pre-wired with 10 gauge wire and 10 gauge wire can handle up to 30 amps so we should be safe running these panels down that 10 amp wire to our charge controller and then uh, into our 24 volt battery pack. So let's get started putting in this junction box. I want to get it in and get it sealed before we have any other chances of rain. I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain a little bit and uh, we're fighting this South Dakota wind, but there's nothing we can do about that. I've been putting this off and it's still windy, so we're just going to have to deal with it. So I apologize if you get a little wind noise. Um, the sun is out. Looks like it's raining over there, but right here it's clear, so let's crack on and get this done. So like I said, DRV was nice enough to pre-wire this for us, but um, and then what they do is they, they lay the wire in the roof and they put a vent cap over. So we're going to take this vent cap off and replace it with our box. Um, so that's kind of step one. These little scrapers work really well. Uh, they're plastic and you can resharpen them with a file. I'll put the link in the description below for this tool. I really like it. I use it a lot, especially on stuff like this. Um, you can really get this uh, sealant off without damaging anything with them. You still have to be careful, but they work pretty good. We gotta remove all this to get this lid off. <laughs> You got a, you got a fake, fake piece of pipe for me. traced this wire once before and it's over in here somewhere but we got to find it see if I can find it with these can't quite get my hand in the hole this is my pre-wire up into the box I'm gonna have to put my reliefs on here and I'll put one here yeah, I'll put one three these reliefs are pretty easy to get out but you do have to kind of help them a little bit so I just like to take a knife and kind of do this the plastic is really thin but 
it does help. Kind of cut it a little bit. These are the little glands that go in the hole. You see, I get all four of these out. They go in like this. I'm gonna put one in and show you, then I'll do the rest. So basically, it's got a metal ring on the back. It's got an O-ring on the front. So you're gonna insert it in the hole. Sometimes you can actually thread these in because these holes end up being really rough when you cut them out with a razor knife. So sometimes you can kind of turn them in like that. They, this, this box does come with a little wrench. So you kind of tighten it in there. You don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to smash the o-ring abnormally so i do it like that and then add the ring you'll notice this ring has teeth on it you want to make sure the teeth point toward the plastic so they bite and just twist it on like that just like that then i take a common screwdriver and use it to tighten up the ring. Sometimes it helps to tap it. And you just want to just smash the o-ring enough just to seal it and make sure it's tight. Kind of like that. We go and you see the o-ring perfect over so it seals the holes. I want to go ahead and do the double face tape on the back. This kit does come with screws. Use the factory screws that came with it. Nice tight fit in the plywood. There we go, nice tight fit. Now, before we seal this, we're going to take these off makes it a little easier to get underneath with the with the uh, caulking gun the one cool thing about this box is it comes with these and you can place them wherever you like and they kind of snap in like that and you can run your wires however um, we'll probably do this one this way since it's more direct um, and then we'll wire these, black being hot and white being ground neutral. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Black being hot and white being ground. Okay. 
Now we can just bring our solar wires in and do the same thing. Okay, so I went ahead and sealed up that that box. It looks like it might sprinkle. Um, hopefully it doesn't, but um, I went ahead and sealed it up so it can start drying. That's really my main focus was to get up here and get that uh, junction box installed so that I could get it sealed because the weather here lately has just been crazy unpredictable. You can see the Air Force Base over there. They fly B-1 bombers. When we were stationed at Dias in Abilene, Texas, we had B-1 bombers and they would rattle the windows and base housing when they flew over, so it's pretty neat. I love to hear them. It's the sound of freedom in my opinion. Let's get on with uh, connecting these panels. Let me show you this. So these panels come pre-wired with about three feet of cable and the um, ends already on them. So we're gonna have to run, we're gonna run these in series. So they're gonna connect to one another all the way down the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and unclip these and start hooking them up. And then we'll have to run a positive wire from here all the way to the box. And then the negative will be on the other end. And then these will be the same way. They'll all be hooked up. I'm gonna have to make an extension wire down there to get around the TV antenna. Um, but I've got MC4 connectors, so we'll just make up a jumper. So it should be no big deal. I did forget to mention, since it's maybe rain, gonna rain, I'm not gonna fasten these to the roof or anchor them down in any way yet. I'm gonna get them all hooked up and then I'll come back through and uh, anchor the wires down where needed, seal those anchor points, that sort of thing. So, um, just trying to beat the rain. So these are gonna hook up positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, all the way down the line. Like that. got them all tied up anchored to the roof and I got to go back and seal all the all the anchor points but um, man this wind is horrible but let me show you what it looks like all hooked up so you see I use anchor zip ties and I try to use as few as possible just because you know it might make sense that you want to put as few holes in your roof as you can um, and then you have to be really careful when you get by your air conditioner you can see the stain Where the water runs off so you want to make sure you don't you know put a, a Screw there where the water is going to sit all the time and cause you a lot of trouble um, These wires I just kind of police up and then in between I just use a regular zip tie so it's not attached to the roof There's my extension I had to make so tied there And the same all the way down this one I just kind of hooked together and then I had to come around with a few and I'll get all those sealed up. Kind of goes the same all the way down this way. You can see down there it's all just kind of uh, fastened conservatively. You don't want too many screws in your roof I guess. And then here's that box. So you can see I got my positives coming in. Positive going down my pre-wire. Now these wires look a lot bigger. Um, they're actually only one size bigger than this uh, pre-wire because that's what I had on hand, so I used the number eight. All the solar panels have number 10 wire. The reason this looks so big is that this wire is UV protected. So it can lay on the roof, the sun won't hurt it, um, but it's got a super thick, um, you can see here, it's got a super thick um, coating on it. So that's why they look so big. But uh, this is all sealed up all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on. And then all I have to do is seal these attachment points. And uh, then I can put the panels back down.
Well, just wrapping this video up. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for next week's video where we're going to get the rest of our components hooked up. We're going to get everything enclosed and uh, we'll get some uh, final numbers out as to how well the system's been performing. So stay tuned for our next video of our ultimate DRV solar install. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.